Okay, question five is about Dijkstra's algorithm. We've got uh, a network here, and it says Sharon is planning a road trip from Preston to York. Figure two here shows the network of the roads that she could take on her trip. The number on each arc is the length of the corresponding road in miles. Use Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest route from Preston P to York Y. State the shortest route and its length. So here we go. Let's have a look at this here. Um, now, we'll start at this one here. Now the first one we choose, it says start at P, so that's the first one we choose and it's no miles. Now we'll look at all the arcs from this. So we've got 10, this is a temporary value. 20, another temporary value here. 12, temporary value. Now we'll find the shortest one out of all of these. B here, 10 is the shortest, so that becomes the second one chosen and it's a permanent value of 10. Now let's add uh, all the arcs from here. So 10 add 6 is 16, and that's less than 20, so we'll write that one down. Um, 10 add 34 is 44. Put that one down. Now we look at the shortest one from anywhere. Remember, it includes this one here. So it's, we've got 10, 16, 44, and 12, and 12 is the shortest. So let's make that permanent. So the third one chosen, and 12. Now let's check this, 12 add 18, too big, so what we'll do is we'll ignore that one because you only put the temporary values down if they're smaller. And now we've got 12 add 11, it's 23. Uh, we've got uh, 12 add 15, it's 27. And let's add these. So let's see which is the shortest now. So we've got 16, 27, 44, you can see 16 is the shortest. So that's four, make this permanent, 16. Uh, we'll go back over just in case, we've already done this one, just put all at the same time, you just check. 16 add six, too many. 16 add 18, too many. 16 add 17, um, that's too big as well. So we've got 16 add 26 is 42, which is shorter, so we'll write that one down. And then, 16 add 54, uh, we've got 54, 64, we've got 70 there. Right, once again we're looking at the shortest. Out of 23, 12, 42 and 70. So you can see it's this one, 23. So that's the fifth one chosen, becomes permanent, 23. And uh, take that arc from here, because that's going back over already done this one. 23 add 21, and we've got uh, 44. Right, shortest now from the ones not chosen, all the uh, nodes not chosen, so we've got 27, 70, 42, and 44. It's, as you can see, it's 27. So that's the sixth one chosen, 27 becomes permanent. Uh, let's just check, that's uh, 27 add 17 is too big. Uh, 27 add 42. We've got, um, let's see, 70, uh, we've got 69, which is shorter. And then 27 add 14 is 41, which is shorter. Okay, let's have a look at the shortest ones again, which we've not chosen. So we've got 41, 69, and 42 for the temporary values. 41 is the shortest. So make that permanent. It's the seventh one chosen, 41. Right, 41 add 40 is too big, so we ignore that. And let's just check again. 41 add 14, that's too big as well. So now uh, we don't need to put any more temporary values. Look, Just look at the shortest again. Out of 42 and 69, as you can see, it's 42. So it's the eighth one chosen is 42 permanent value. Uh, now, 42 add 26 is 68, which is shorter, 68. And 42 add 48 is 90. Now the shortest value is, we've got 68 and 90, so that's this one. So that's the ninth one chosen, 68 becomes uh, permanent. So we've got this one, uh, 68 add 21 is 89. Which is uh, we'll leave that one there. Uh, let's 
see. Uh, this was the last one chosen. It's the only temporary value that's left. So it's the tenth one, and it becomes 89. And that's it finished for that part. So it says uh, we want the shortest route. Now when you find the shortest route, you work back over and subtract so that they match. So let's uh, just get a highlighter here. Uh, let's just check that. Let's get a highlighter. Bear with me. Get that one here. So we've got this one here. Start here. And then we subtract. So we've got 89 minus 48 is not 42. 89 minus 21 is 68. So that's the one there. We'll go down there. Uh, let's see. 68 minus 26 is 42. So that's the next one. There. And then let's see. 42 minus 34 uh, is not 10. Uh, 42 minus 26 is 16. That's it. Choose that one. And then we've got um, 16 minus 6 is 10. And 10 minus 10 is 0. So there's the root there. And we'll just write that down. It is P, B, a, then S, L, Y, and it says the length of the shortest route, well you can see here, the permanent value is 89, so it's 89. Okay, let's have a look at question uh, B. It says here, um, Sharon has a friend John who lives in Manchester M, which is here. So I'll use this, I'll use a different colour here. That's M. Uh, Sharon decides to travel from Preston to York via Manchester. So going from P to Y via M. Uh, so she can visit John. She wishes to minimise the length of her, her route. State the new shortest route. Hence, calculate the additional distance she must travel to visit John on his tr trip. You must make clear the numbers that you use for your calculation. Okay, so we need to go via M. So we'll look at the shortest route via M. Let's try looking at these ones here. We've got, uh, let's see, 12, 11, and 21. So let's try some of these and write them down. Try P, C, W, M. P, C, W, M. That equals... Uh, 12 plus uh, 11 plus 21, which equals 44. Right, let's see if we can find a shorter one. Now I'm going to try P, A. So P, A, H, M. P, A, H, M. So that becomes uh, 20 plus 17 plus 14 which is 51 now I'm going to try this one here PCHM PCHM so PC is 12 15 to H and 14 so we've got 41 and that's the shortest route. You can see there's no other shorter routes there. So I'll pick that one. So that's 41. So we've got this one is um, PCHM. Now that's from P to M. And then we finish off looking at the shortest. As you can see, 14 to 42 is longer than 40. So it's got to be this route here. So if I use a different colour, I'm going to go down here. Down there. See? H, M, and the shortest one there is up to L, and then Y. 
So I've got that one and that one. So I'll finish off. The root is P C H M L Y. That's the new root. And we want to work this out. So we've got um, add all of these up. So we had 41. 41 there. And then we add this from M to L is another 40. So 41 plus 40. And then 21 plus 21. So we end up with 102. Okay. 102. Now the original one was 89. So the difference, uh, does it say the additional distance? So the additional distance equals 102, subtract 89, which equals 13 miles extra. And that's the final answer. That's it.